Hey guys, your Sector 2 tips here, and we are just two hours away from the event, and I've made an analysis, a preliminary analysis, and I think I missed something. I missed talking about the efficiency of the of the items, well, of the the currency we are getting in the in the loot. So, well. Um, I think this is going to be different from what you usually see on on the Girls of the Battle 2 videos from the community. Usually they they do talk using experience and usually you, Girls of the Battle 2 YouTubers are right because they do have a lot of experience and they do even by sight know when something is worth or when something isn't worth. But right now we are making numbers. So let's return return here. So we begin. Well, let's set first how much does this skewer? I, I don't know how, how they are called, but I'm going to call them skewer, so just bear with me, okay? <laughs> I use Google Translate and I don't get another another one. Or brochette, I mean, but uh, I don't think think brochette. Well, maybe brochette, brochette. Okay, well, a skewer or brochette. Well, the efficiency of five of these is one regular shard. Of five juices are one regular shard, and two ice creams are one edit shard. And here we we see the rest, right? Well, to make the numbers, we are using these two mainly, because the ice cream. You can only get it for free by completing the around and by buying the fencer. So with one round and fencer you get 70 of these ones and with those you can get 35 Elite Girl Shards. Are those worth 3500 <laughs> 3, gems? plus a round are worth you to, to expend that much? I don't think so. Maybe the, the use can change a bit the numbers, but if you can only complete one round, you shouldn't play this event. Why? Just because we, we have seen right now, if you save your slots, in a future event you will be able to, able to get an antique. And this is amazing! Get, being able to get an antique, a, free, a pay to win antique for free, is what you should be aiming for. You shouldn't be aiming for for some, some extra shards. No, you should aim for getting that antique. So, if you can get it right now, you should save until you are able to get it. Okay? So, you, you sh should you buy this one? Should you play this event the round? No, you shouldn't. You should only only by the, the gemster but not all of this because you're what you're going to do with 40 ice cream you're with going to to get 20 elite girl shards shards plus a fencer that it's not a great girl i know i, I, I say that i wanted a fencer but thinking carefully carefully you're getting that fencer eventually if you want if you want to build her and she's only worth at nine star so for house exam but that's three copies you don't need that much fencer so a fencer plus 20 elite girl shard for 3500 gems if you can get it if, if you are a whale well go for it it's fine but for the rest of the players it isn't worth at all don't get this unless you are getting at least three rounds of this and you want uh, this this ice cream so you can get the Fenrir or the Antique. If you are doing three to, to four rounds, you can start thinking about uh, buying this one. If not, skip this. But these two, these two are the ones that really give value to, to the event. I, I've told you already, this event is, is fine. But right now I think it's great, a great event. And why? Well, we are going to see. Well, we will start with the martinis, okay? We are assuming that, well, martini, 
2000, uh, well, 2500 or 2000 or 5000 gems gives you 300 and 600 secured. How much can you get with that? On regular shards, you can get 120, which means 2.4 foot heroes. Well, foot girls, <laughs> I'm using heroes. But girls, 2.4 foot girls. Or 15 elite shards, which is 0 0.25 potentially elite heroes. Then we are going to talk about the odds of them being actual elite heroes or giving you food. So it doesn't have sense to, to take the elite shards when, when they are going to be give you most likely food. But then we are going to that point. Okay, well, as you know, um, passively you are getting you are going you are getting martinis. <laughs> My teen is using calling you call, calling them anyway. Are getting martinis and brochettes. Okay, how much? Well, uh, right now it's impossible to, to for me to know the average exactly, but I can somehow give you uh, an approximate if 700 if 1200 use are, are required for a uh, antique then you know that you're not getting to 1200 maybe so let's set it like you're getting in the whole event on average 400 use uh, okay so we are setting the cap for 1000 because the secure ones using 5000 gems are 600 plus 400 we are getting the, the 1000 okay so then we are getting with that, that amount 200 regular shards which are 4 foot heroes or 25 elite shards which are 0.5 42 potentially potentially elite heroes so um, and in each skin a skin ticket um, costs 100 martinis so you can get up to 50 skin tickets if, if you want to it depends on, on you you maybe want one that those skin tickets the skin tickets are actually kind of valuable but the skins that that you get can get from the shop are not that good so I don't know if, if you're a, an, a beginner should think about getting the skins are most important to get the food so if you are between one to six months playing you should go straight up for the food so well next we are going for the brochettes okay which I've, I've placed as as skewers. Okay. About the brochettes, 200 for. Um, two, well, you get each five of them. You get one shard, so you get 40 shards from the 200 secures, which is which is 0 0.8 foot heroes. There is no way to exchange them for elite girls, um, except if you get to 800. But we are assuming then that we are not usually getting to to 800 i'm guessing around 700 because you know that you don't usually get these ones for free it would mean that you're getting passively like 600 um, of this currency in the week and i don't think, think that they are going to give that much but it's maybe possible to get to get here and to get here it may be one out of 20 accounts so let's first see this okay well assuming the an average of 700 you're getting 140 regular shards or 2.8 foot heroes well girls and assuming an over 800 average you're getting 2.3.2 foot girls or a single potentially elite girl or an elite badge an elite badge if you get to the, the elite badge you can kind of forget about the amount of heroes because elite badge 
if you you choose wisely, you can potentially get even elite uh, girls, uh, demon and angel. So an elite badge is a way to to gamble, but gamble for a for a high reward. So if you get to the elite badge, I will tell you, okay, go go for it. Get, get the, the elite badge and save it. Save it for the future. Don't don't say right now. I want the um, I don't know. Imagine people people getting Turing from from elite badge a month ago. Right now Turing is trash. Turing is is not a, a high tier girl. It's not even used. Not in PVE. Not in PVE. PVP. So imagine you getting crazy. Right. I, I got an, an elite badge in, and right now you get a Turing. Well. And in that moment you, you got a, 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 a Turing and in and right now which could be maybe you're getting a, a capsule girl I, I don't know um, a girl that is going to, to fall behind on the time because you right now don't have any copies and you're just going to get one copy of a girl elite girl right now which is going to be to be a trash girl on the future. So think about it. You get an elite badge, yeah you can get it, but save it, save it till Till the odd, till you really need to use them, and and the girls that are, that are presented are worth to worth to to make you use them. Okay, so I can get this down. So the actual value value of the gems are is for 1,500 gem, gems. You're getting 40 regular shards plus four seals. If we are assuming that we are getting a regular shards. With this, on the other side, with 2,500 gems, we are getting 60 regular shards, and with 5,000, we are getting 120 regular shards, and these ones are secure, right? The 50 elite shards, as you see, you get this one secure, okay, and a limit of two, so you can get up to 100 elite shards. So it's recommended only for the seals. It is. But if it's going to give, if they are going to give you also 40 regular shards, of course, you should always get this. Even if you are broken, you should get this. Okay, the seals are 500 gems each, 2,000, and you're even getting this. This is a great deal, one of the, the better deals on the game. And about this, you should get it. Yes, you should get it too. If you can afford spending these 6,500 gems. You, you should. Maybe this is a bait. You know that when you get this, these good deals for gems, it may be it's a, a bait because you're, we are getting better deals later, but right, right now I think you need this. <laughs> I need this. I am getting this. So uh, uh, if you can get the 5000 gems one, get it in this order, no? right? Okay. Uh, in the order means how much you can afford. Well, and this, even if you can afford it, afford it, if you're not going for Fenrir, don't get it, because you may have gem the gems, but if you're not going for Fenrir, you don't need this currency, the ice cream, you don't need it. It's trash. It's straight up trash. So, only if going for Fenrir. Okay, and here, secure at the end of the event, assuming that we are getting 800 skewers and 1000 use because it, it helps me helps me with the, the numbers well we can see two, two routes is the regular shards route and the lead shards route okay well let's talk about about odds okay this is the odds of getting an elite girl from an elite um, girl shard you see, before Fenrir, because Fenrir is getting into this 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 chart, uh, into these shards at one week before her enroll. Like next generation Iron Fist, maybe you haven't noticed that she's already there. Well, she has been there even before this week. In I think, yeah, before this week was was got there got there. So right now. We are getting the odds that are 
1.66 Here's 6, 6, 6, 7, it's pretty much the same By 11 But I can see that here are 12 Well, Kongming is trash Kongming is a, is, a, is a food girl So we are taking her out, okay? By 11, so 18.33 it's less than 20%, it's less than 1 out of 5. You 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 see where I'm going? And after Fenrir, um if you save save those charts when Fenrir gets in the, into them, it's by 12 and uh, still under 20%. So is it worth? Well, let's going to see. With the regular charts route, you can get 200 as we see from Martinis, 164 from Skewers. So in total, um, in total are 7.2 foot girls plus two potentially elite girls, right? Plus four seals. So in total, you are getting with this route 9.2 girls, all of them except two which are the secure ones are food so are 7.2 food and two potentially but let's imagine the worst case scenario you're just getting you're getting always 9.2 girls okay food girls but in this scenario if you're going to invest your your currency on elite charts you're getting 25 50 so 75 elite charts in total 3.5 potentially elite girls which is 3.5 girls that they most likely are going to be food girls and if they are not food girls you're getting maybe an elite girl like Gapsu girl and like Turing like Fencer that you only have one copy and they are they are not being of any use anyway you won't need, need uh, a single Gapsu girl a single Turing a single Fencer you don't need them or a coming you don't need them okay so this is you shouldn't go for the ishar's route moreover if you're a a new player or even under a year a, a player under a year playing you, you shouldn't shouldn't go for this you should aim for this okay if you're like ghost exam level ghost exam stage 30 to above you maybe, 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 maybe can think about this, but anyway, I always will value this more on the first stages. And the first st stages are like a year, okay? So, what should I do? You should buy all of these, the 6500 gems, we use them, and get all the shards you, you can. So, these 9.2 girls can become food for a possible elite, uh, limit break, right? Okay, this was it. I hope uh, I let myself to... I let me explain, explain myself and this is for the video. Enjoy the event.